year is our referee. Jason Dizick is his assistant, and Jason Ayotte, the other assistant. Ball is up, and the game is on. Sent forward here by Christian Fed. 50-50 ball. Wilson runs through. Magnuson looking to control. And he'll send it back across midfield. Dartmouth, as we said, 0-2-0 on the season. A pair of losses out in California, the most recent five days ago. That was a 4-0 loss to the Golden Bears of Cal. Before that, a 2-1 loss against St. Mary's. Up the wing, it is sent. A chase and a run to the ball. Well played that time. Miras, triple teamed, continues with it. Well, off his boot last, and a throw coming here for Holy Cross. Crusaders, meanwhile, at 1-2-1 one, one on their young season. Their most recent output was four days ago at home in Worcester at the Lyndon A. Johnson Soccer Stadium down there in Worcester. 4 nothing loss to the Bulldogs of Bryant. Handball whistled down here. Free kick opportunity coming. Crusaders will move with it quickly now as Jake Williams had sent it back. Controlled there by Connor Bagden. Bagden had sent it wide, but now will take the return. Fifth start of the season for Bagden. He's played in the full 90 in three games of the four in which Holy Cross has played, including each of the last two. Jonathan Klein will play it back to his keeper, Tristan Stefani. 1-1-1 one, one, one on the season is Stefani. His last appearance was a shutout with two saves against Sacred Heart. Josh Tubbs got the start against the Bulldogs of Bryant. This one sent deep or at Maine to track it down. Facing pressure on the backside from Evan Jones, our player to watch here this evening. 6-7-3 Dartmouth won a season ago. 3-4-0 and oh in the Ivy League, finishing fourth overall. It was their second fourth place finish in the past three seasons. If the Big Green can finish fourth or better this year, it will punch their ticket to the newly formed Ivy League tournament. There's going to be tournaments in men's and women's soccer, also field hockey as well this year in the Ancient Eight. So there will still be a regular season champion, but then there will be a tournament for the top four teams and a chance to try and punch their ticket to the automatic qualifier to the NCAA tournament. Sent towards midfield. Too strong on the touch. That time ahead of Christian Fed. And now it's the Crusaders looking to try and counter. A man wide on the wing. That's Jonathan Klein. Klein will accept. Across with the left. Chris Dulu lets it fly by. Goal kick coming here for the big green. Chris Dulu went to put a right paw up for a moment, but then pulled it back, realizing the shot was high. That's a good sign for the Crusaders of the College of the Holy Cross. Shots for them have been lacking. Offense has been a bit of a struggle for them through the four games so far. They have just two goals in the four games in which they have played. They only average just a shade over six shots per game. 6.25 to be precise. That's last in the Patriot League and 197th out of 202 teams rated on NCAA stats. Granted, again, a small sample size, and they've gone against some very good teams here in the early going. Games against UConn, most notably their recent one against Bryant. This one sent forward. Chased there by Trenton Blake. Blake into the 18. It's cleared off of, and over the line. And the first corner kick of the night will come here for the big green. Beautiful ball sent forward to Blake that time. Blake, a first year out of Tallahassee, Florida, getting his third start of the season in as many games for the big green. It'll be Magnuson over to send the corner kick in. Movement on the backside of the 18. In bending kick, looking for a head, cleared away up the line. Sit, skip through, and a save made. Stefani tracked it through the traffic and was able to find a way to punch it over the end line. Another corner coming here for the big green. It was the second chance opportunity that time as Miras was looking for a chance to try and send it through. Magnuson with a swing of the right boot. In bending kick, looking for a head punched away. Loose to the top of the 18. Dartmouth will send it back towards midfield and regroup. Two good balls, though, sent in by Oscar Magnuson. Honorable mention, Ivy a season ago, one of three Dartmouth players that was recognized with an honorable mention nod. And here in the middle of the field, this is Blake looking to try and send it through. It comes back to Blake atop the 18. A touch to the outside. We'll leave now for Magnuson. Magnuson tries to send it through. His attempt turned away and sent over the sideline by Matt McGonigal, one of the captains on this Holy Cross team. McGonigal is senior out of Los Angeles, California. His first named captain for this Crusader team back in 2021, a three-time captain for them. Dartmouth coming here with the deep throw. Pause momentarily. The ball that was out of play accidentally rolled back onto the pitch.
Big Green generating another corner. Their third corner in short order. Christian fed that time, helping to generate the opportunity here for Dartmouth. First kick bent back towards the edge of the six. Second one went inside the six. We saw a lot of packed in motion this time, going right to the middle of the six, but tracked by Stefani and plucked from the air. Stefani, the junior out of Norfolk, Massachusetts, played one game last year against Manhattan University before missing the rest of the season with an injury. Time has been split between he and Josh Chubb so far this season. Well done by Fed that time to help produce the turnover. Sent into space towards the edge of the 18. Through ball does not connect. Knocked down momentarily, but Bagden will control up the line. Nick Hoopy will leave it back to Bagden, and Stefani will reorganize the attack. Holy Cross 5-9-4 and four last year, 1-5-3 and three within the Patriot League. That had them at 10th overall. They're the only team in the Patriot League that last season that had just a single league win. That was on the heels of a third place finish back in 2021 for this Crusader team when they went 5-3-1 and one to the Patriot League and 8-8-3 eight, eight and three overall. Controlled here, Andrew Ellis, one of the captains on this team. He, Tom Collins, and Trevor G. Collins, you see on the pitch, number 22 near midfield. Wearing the neon armband. Carried to the mid here. This is Collins with it now. Wide, looking for his other captain, Ellis. Back it goes to Collins. Collins looking for an option, sending to the corner, looking for Blake. Blake trying to get to the ball before it crosses the end line. But a touch too strong and a goal kick coming. Mentioned for Dartmouth, fourth place in the Ivy League a season ago. It was their second fourth place finish in the past three seasons. Big Green last Ivy Championship coming in 2017. 13 time champions the Big Green have been as this one is sent back here by Brock Frazier. Stefani. It's sent wide. Bagden. Long ball. Lofting across midfield that ping pongs around. Knocked forward by Kay Kiesling. Now the Big Green will settle down and control. Magnuson. Tries to send to the outside. Challenge there by Jonathan Klein. Ellis, long. Knocked down and controlled here by Klein. Rolling back and it finds Jake Williams. Williams will send it back. Now the Crusaders will take their time and try and organize. That game against Bryant that they played just four days ago, the Bulldogs very possession heavy game here. The Big Green producing a turnover. Magnuson racing into the 18. Magnuson striking and scoring. Oscar Magnuson, the first tally here at Burnham in 2023 for the Big Green. And Dartmouth takes a one nothing lead. A beautiful carry in. The patience to wait and hold right through the goaltender's legs and into the corner. Shutout in their last game against Cal. Just a single goal to their name against St. Mary's. But Oscar Magnuson tallied once back in 2022. And he gets the first strike here at Burnham Field in 2023. Your goal scored by Oscar Magnuson, your Cabot sharpshooter of the game. Hurry up and grab your bag of cheesy popcorn today and let your taste buds embark on a flavor-packed journey. Get ready to pop, crunch, and savor because you deserve nothing but the cheesiest and the best. Brought to you by the Farmer Companies. Magnuson scoring here in the ninth minute to give Dartmouth a 1-0 advantage. Officially unassisted for Magnuson. Holy Cross looking to try and counter. Maine will send it ahead. Controlled here by Williams. He'll actually let it through. Crusaders to retreat with it now. Stefani. Approaching midfield. Is it here for Brock Frazier? The first year of Charlotte, North Carolina, making his third straight start here tonight for this Crusader team. Marco Kuhlman. 
head coach of the Crusaders, now in his 12th year with Holy Cross. 27th year overall as a head college co soccer coach. Six years at Gannon, his alma mater, and nine years at Franklin Pierce University here in New Hampshire, down in Ringe. Sent ahead. A race to the corner. Maine with a strong tackle. It pops over the sideline. Good challenge that time by Maine. Throw to come quickly. Crusaders trying to play with some pace. They'll again send it back before they work to send it forward. Frazier to take it in. Surveys. Leaves it back now for Stefani. Bagdon will send it back to Stefani now. All-time series between these two teams. This is the 11th meeting. It's 6-0 and 4, 6-0 and 4, I should say, in favor of the Big Green. Back pass. Trouble with it there for a moment was Williams. We'll leave it now to Stefani. Three of the last five meetings between these teams have been ties. Last season in Worcester when these teams got together was their first meeting since the 2017 campaign. That game was also in Worcester. That was a 5-0 win for the Big Green. Teams met almost every year from 2010 through 2017. They did not meet in 2016 as Maine parries this one ahead. A little strong on the initial touch there by Blake. Blasted back over midfield. Now it comes. Magnuson controlling. Just looking for space. We'll leave it now for Orit Maine, the sophomore, senior, excuse me, out of Atlanta, Georgia. Kiesling finds Collins. Touches to Maine. Maine with his hands out. Motioning to settle down. Will find its way back to Costi Christodoulou. Really just the one chance so far for Holy Cross. The initial one that came in, the left-footed strike that came from Klein that went over just over the top of the bar. Sent long up the wing. Just on the outside of the 18. Wilson was trying to challenge, but Stefani able to win the race to the ball inside his own keep. This game here tonight, the first in Hanover since the 2015 season. That was a 1-0 win for Dartmouth. I mentioned these teams met a season ago down in Worcester back on October the 4th. That was a 0-0 draw. Shots were 9-7 in the game in favor of Dartmouth, but shots on goal 4-3 in favor of the Crusaders. Dartmouth with the only two corner kicks in the game. And Dylan Buchanan was in net that night for the Big Green. He made four saves in the 0-0 tie. Game is approaching 12 minutes old. Oscar Magnuson striking in the ninth minute to give Dartmouth a 1-0 lead. Maine with a good challenge from behind, able to control. Sebastian Mignon. Mignon, the sophomore of the Dominican Republic. Patient with it. Temperature's reading about 75 degrees right now, but it's still very humid here in the Upper Valley. It was very hot during the course of the day. And these players were out on the field getting warmed up for the contest here tonight. Sun dipping down below the hills and behind the clouds certainly has dropped the temperature and made things feel a bit more comfortable. Challenge on the far side. Throw to come here for the big green off the boot there. Last of Jeb Sneed. Keesley. We'll leave it here. And Maine will send it across. Menon looking to send it through. Magnuson knocks it down but can't control the one touch. Now in a battle here, one forward, Nick Hoopy, trying to send a man on a run, that was Jones. But the touch too long, Chris Dudulu will let it roll into the 18, and then roll it back out. Three of the next four for the Big Green, including this one, are at home. They are on the road three days from now when they take on the University of Massachusetts. The non-conference contest against foes out of the Northeast Conference in Stonehill and Merrimack before they begin their Ivy slate on the 23rd of September against Princeton. Mignon facing pressure from the backside. This is Klein looking to apply it. Has to be a left back, Christodoulou. Calmly to Ellis. Ellis looking to send a run. Blake trying to track it down. A race. Challenged. Let through. And a corner to come for the big green. An aggressive send that time by Ellis. Well read by Blake. A great job to let it through. Dartmouth in with it quickly here. Holy Cross not organized. Chipped in, looking for a head. Cleared out of the six. Collins. And a tangle with Jones. 
A return comes. Collins surveys into the box, skittering on the grass, but scooped by Stefani. Good recognition that time from the pair of underclassmen. Magnuson was readying for the corner, but Blake saw that Holy Cross was not yet set in the box. They were still trying to get organized. Send it in quickly. Maybe didn't generate the opportunity that Dartmouth was looking for, but you like the heads up mindset from the players on the field, especially a pair of underclassmen. Early returns here tonight. Have to have Bo O'Shawnee over on the sideline, please. Now in his sixth year here with the big green. Back it comes. Stefani will control. Magden sends it forward. Williams into space. Now a long ball sent forward here by the Crusaders, but no one home. Holy Cross picked to finish 10th overall in the Patriot League preseason poll. That's out of the 10 teams that were in there. Navy picked to finish first overall. Eight of the first place votes, followed by Boston University with three first place votes, but 130 points in the poll. An American had 129 points in the poll, but five first place votes. The Patriot League preseason poll is an exercise in trying to stretch your mind. We'll talk more about that as this game goes on here, but long flick ahead. Chested down. Kiesling, though, read it well. Challenged on the back end this time by McGonagall. Off McGonagall, last in a throw to come here for the Big Green. Student sections filled up nicely down off towards our left. Looks to be several athletes from a couple of different teams here taking this one in. Kiesling on the throw, headed back in. Pop forward by Magnuson, but out to the Crusader bench. Dartmouth picked to finish six overall in the preseason poll this year. Behind Princeton and just ahead of Brown. Penn picked to repeat his Ivy League champions here in 2023. Receiving nine first place votes. Cornell receiving six and Harvard receiving one. Foul was whistled down against the Crusaders. Quick restart here for the Big Green. In a game that's just gone over 16 minutes old. Oscar Magnuson with the only strike so far, unassisted in the game's ninth minute. His first tally here in 2023 as Dartmouth in front, one nothing. This one, challenge ahead, Jones. Twisting, trying to figure out which way the ball was coming. Turns back towards his midfielders and gives some applause there for the effort to try and send him through on the scene. Magnon chips it ahead. And Hoopy will watch it skitter out. Headed away that time by Ellis, so Hoopy will come forward. Hoopy has started three games this season. That time a mistouch and a miscommunication between Hoopy and Jack Ostrowski. Possession will come back here to the big green. Whistle there was to tell Ellis not to come anymore forward with the throw. Main takes the pass from Mignon, sends it into space, and it'll be taken away. Chance for the Crusaders to try and counter, but Main is able to step up and knock it back. Williams headed over. Sneed headed forward. Crusaders now in control. Kiesling pursuing on the outside. The edge of the 18. Kiesling, a good tackle. Main parries it to the corner. Kiesling. Can't quite save it before it goes over the sideline. Crusaders have a player that's down right now after the challenge. Man down is Matt McGonigal, the senior captain, one of the tri-captains on this Holy Cross Crusader team. He's back up and walking. No substitution at midfield, so McGonigal ready to rejoin the action. Ball finds its way back here to Stefani. Patience with it. Frazier works it back. Taken here by Williams, one of the other tri captains on this team. Just a junior out of Wellington, New Zealand. Again, sent long ahead, looking for Ethan Gill. Maine will challenge him in the corner. 
And Gill will win the battle and work the throw. Fourth start of the season here for Gill. He started now in three straight. This one deep from the corner. Crusaders looking for maybe a bit of a running start here from Sneed to try and send this one in as deep as he can. Kiesling, first to it, just punches it back towards midfield. It's off the back of the head there of Bagdon. Now he'll play it back. Bagdon across midfield, trying to leave it there. Gill with the touch. Eventually comes back to the outside. Across into the six, Christodoulou will smother. Much better possession over the last few minutes here for the Crusaders. Starting to generate some opportunity from the outside. Just two goals scored on the season so far for Holy Cross in their four games played. One against Manhattan in their opener, a 1-1 tie. And one against Sacred Heart on September the 1st, a 1-0 win. Their other two games, they've been blanked 4 to nothing against both UConn and their last time out against Bryant. The Bulldogs got off to a quick start in that game. Bryant scored twice in the opening 15 minutes and had another in the 29th to take a commanding 3-0 lead. Touched here by Klein, left behind. This is Gill. Gill, crossing, sent away. Gill, again, looking for a reception on the other side. Ostrowski can't control. Nifty work by Ostrowski to flip it back in. Off his boot last, was looking for a foul, but none coming. Great ball to Gill that time. The initial attempt not finding its way through, but he stayed with the play. Generated the opportunity. Crusaders still without an official shot here tonight. But they're starting to find their legs and starting to find some ways to try and poke at the back end of this Dartmouth defense. And Yon to midfield. Blake. Magnuson. Magnuson, double team comes. Tries to work it off a boot to win a throw. Ellis comes forward and challenges. Foul whistled down here. Guilty part of that time will be Nick Hoopy. Ellis, the man that drew the foul, puts the ball back into play. A little over 21 minutes gone here in half number one. Dartmouth leading 1 0. Sent long forward, Magnuson with the tally here tonight. Magnuson left at midfield. Miras left back now for Fed. Dartmouth has not been pushing the issue too much here tonight. They've been happy to work the ball back and take their time as Jones will challenge, but it's worked back calmly here to Maine. Magnon. Sent forward, looking to try and leak it through. It is able to find its way past Hoopy momentarily, but Klein well covered that time. Late challenge coming in from Blake. Lofted towards midfield. Fed will settle it. Sebastian Magnon. Please now for Costi Christodoulou. Three saves in the game against Cal for Christodoulou. Made five saves in the opener against St. Mary's. Six, six, and two last year. Posting five shutouts, a 772 save percentage. Led the Ivy League. Christodoulou with a long loft across midfield. Ellis in a battle. Sent back. Williams able to win the battle momentarily. Miras carrying to the 18. Miras trying to head to the outside. Instead, it comes back a strike, but well wide. Good challenge at the line that time was offered by Sneed. First substitution of the game here for the Crusaders. We'll see G Gavin Penzone checking in for the first time here tonight. Penzone be spelling Nick Hoopy. Penzone, a first year out of Ponte Verde Beach, Florida. 
Third appearance of the season for him. Last saw action against UConn. Did not play in the game against Bryant. 90 minutes played against the Huskies in that contest. This is Williams. Penzone, a touch to midfield. Gill, nifty work there to keep it alive. This is Klein, the return to Gill. Now in a race to the outside, challenge there by Ellis. And it will generate a corner here for the Crusaders, their first corner kick of the night. Great play by Gill initially at midfield on the touch coming to Klein. Klein went on the return. Pass a touch strong, but Gill with a good challenge. McGonagall, the man over to take the corner. One man in the box right now, that's Klein. Swing of the right leg. Inbending kick towards the top of the six, headed away by Maine. Foot race to the ball, one by Magnuson. Sent long, looking for Miras on the far side, but the pass does not connect. Crusaders, reverse field, back it comes to McGonagall. McGonagall holding. Chipping, back edge of the six, looking for a head. Main is there, still loose inside. Attempt at a bicycle, sandwiched in between. And a foul whistle down there against the Crusaders. Attempt at a fantastic finish that time in a thicket of bodies, but all for naught. There's a look at Costi Christodoulou, the junior keeper here for the Big Green. Two shutouts in Ivy play last year, coming against Columbia and Brown. Still looking for his first clean sheet here in 2023. Magnuson will leave it back now for Maine. First substitutions of the night, readying for Dartmouth. This center into the 18, a race to the ball, and one there by Stefani. Wilson that time sent on the run, trying to use the sophomore speed. The flow of this game feels as though each team has taken a couple of minutes at a time with having the better of possession, having the better of the opportunities. Dartmouth obviously coming through on theirs first. Magnon over the head of Collins. Touchdown, it returns now to Blake. Blake will leave for Magnuson. Pressure coming from the backside. Magnuson looking for an outlet. Nifty footwork. Calmly with it now. Ellis. Finds a seam to work it back to Maine. Kiesling. Now Collins to turn. Across midfield. Red that time. Booted back for by Ostrovsky. Maine will have to trot back and regather. Jones applying some pressure. Back it comes to Christodoulou. Pressure again coming from Klein. Jones motioning for his teammates to come forward and work with him. Maybe a bit frustrated. Big Green now. Reversing field. Wilson challenged on the backside by Sneed. Dartmouth regains possession. A chip towards the edge of the 18. Dartmouth is looking for a foul, but none coming. Man down the turf for the big green. There's a 50-50 ball that came up and a bit of a challenge. Foot came up high. Man ran through. That was Blake that went down. Blake's back up, walking and looking through. Looked like it was Williams that was there on the challenge. Williams with an arm around his back. Showing meaning no ill will. I think Blake is more trying to protest to our lead official here tonight, Matthew Mercier. Should be a throw that is coming here for Holy Cross when all this gets sorted out. That will be the case. Crusaders trying to find an equalizer here. Trailing 1 nothing. Penzone, the first year. Across now for Gill. 
to the line for Klein. Gill on the return, looking for an angle. Shipping with the left. Chris Dudulu settles the action. Gill just a sophomore out of Georgia. 13 games played for him a season ago. Three starts. Tallied a goal and an assist. The goal coming against Hartford. He's had some good touches through the midfield tonight and trying to set the attack forward. Ball will find its way to Mignon. No rush coming. Forward it goes to Blake. Back to Mignon now. Fed will take it in across to Kiesling. Eventually it finds its way back to Orit Main. Meras. Now Manon. Magnuson with Klein pressuring on the back. Magnuson looking for Wilson. Wilson puts a stop, a turn and a chip. Looking for Blake. No angle there for Blake to work around Penzone. Well positioned was the first year that time. Substitutions coming in for the big green. We'll see our first action here tonight. Douglas Arvahar will check in for the first time here this evening. And Ben Jenkins in for the first time as well. Jenkins, the junior of Newburyport, Massachusetts. And Arvasar, the first year player of Stockholm, Sweden. They go right to the point of the attack here for the big green. Now sent long. This one will skitter over the sideline and out. Throw to come here for Dartmouth. Now the big green in transition. Forward into the 18 that time. Off the foot of Wilson, but too strong. Crusaders out with it quickly. Penzone looking for Jones, but too far. Into the final third of play here in half number one, just inside 15 minutes remaining. Oscar Magnuson's tally in the ninth minute. All the scoring that we have seen so far. Teams have traded possession back and forth and chunks of this game traded opportunities back and forth as well. Four corner kicks so far for the big green in this one. Maybe a chance to try and leak through. And a foul to be whistled down. This one will go against Jenkins. Mentioned just two goals so far on the season here for Holy Cross and their four games played have been shut out twice. Two goals scored is the fewest among any teams within the Patriot League. Does warrant mentioning, though, the Bulldogs of Bryant, the team they went up against just four days ago, through that juncture of the season, had yet to give up a goal at all here in 2023. Also went against a UConn team that had only allowed three goals in three games that juncture. Here's Klein, challenged the outside. Klein works it through. Klein looking for Williams. Pass was behind. Williams will send it wide. Left here for Sneed. Tries to chip into the box. Wilson with his body in the way. Kiesling. One touch. Challenge on a tackle. Advantage play on. Now we're going to have play stopped. And I think we're going to see a card. There will be a yellow card coming here. Tom Collins, the guilty party. Both players went into challenge for the ball. Collins came in high. There was definitely contact on the backside of the head there of Williams. And that will set up a free kick from just outside the 18 here for the Crusaders. Our referee, Matthew Mercy, are working back the big green wall. Five players lined up on the 18. Williams over there along with McGonigal. Motion to the middle of the box. Inbending left footed kick. Chris Dudulu punches it away. Settled here. Penzone. And now taken away. 
Arv Arvahar. That's Jenkins, excuse me. Looking wide. Magnuson chipping towards net. Pulled in by Stefani. A good counter by the big green coming off of the free kick opportunity. This one rolled out just into space, a miscommunication. Ellis back in possession here for Dartmouth. Was looking for Magnuson. Broken up though nicely by Penzone. We'll have a foul whistle down. Free kick coming. Collins fouled that time. Klein appeared to be the guilty party. Menon sending wide to Kiesling. Kiesling chipping. Settled here. Arvahar trying to leave it back. Now Collins working through the challenge. Jenkins striking and scores! A beautiful ball, a fantastic touch, and Ben Jenkins with the finish. Collins sending it, Jenkins splitting a pair and tucking it into the top corner. First in 2023 here for Jenkins. Collins Shore to pick up the assist, his first year in 2023. And Jenkins with his first tally. Goal comes here in the 34th minute. Two goals for the Big Green here in half number one. Just inside, 12 minutes remaining. Marcus Nanasinkum checking in for the first time here for the Crusaders of the College of the Holy Cross. Evan Walker into the game as well. Walker wearing number four. Nanasinkum, number 12. Brock Frazier leaves it across now. Connor Bagdon. Taken in by Bagdon. Long up the wing. Kiesling first to it, but heads it out. Crusaders still looking for their first official shot of the night. Mentioned off the top, just over six shots per game. Offense has been hard to come by for them. They've gone against some pretty formidable teams here in the early going. As this one chipped into the six, but no one home. Chris Dudulu. No problem receiving the kick. Out with it quickly. Here to Magnuson. Dartmouth has not been afraid to push the issue when it has been there tonight. Down the wing. Looking here for Jenkins. Challenge here by Frazier. And a kick, excuse me, the throw coming here for the Big Green. Ellis will take his time to work forward. Start here tonight for Ellis, his third in as many games. Ellis works it into the box, let through. Punted high into the night sky towards the sideline, and now that time off the boot of Williams. Ellis fortunate there to catch that before it came over the sideline and back in. An encouraging sign for Dartmouth here, the team that was looking for some offensive breakthrough. They scored in bunches a season ago, just 20 goals back in 2023. And 12 of those 20 goals came in just three games. They averaged 1.25 goals per game overall, but you take those three games out, that average dropped to 0.615 goals per contest. They were shut out seven times, but still had a positive goal differential. Despite that, they were very stout defensively last year. They only scored 20 goals, but they only yielded 19.
And for a team at times that's been searching for offense, certainly an encouraging sign to find the back of the net twice here in half number one. This one leaks through. Gill back behind the defense. Gill into the 18. Strikes it off the bar. What an opportunity for Holy Cross. Ethan Gill using his speed. Maneuvering his way around the back end of the defense and striking towards net, but it skips off the crossbar and out of play. A look here for Gill, trying to work it in. Working his way through, approaching the edge of the six. Chris Dudulu trying to take down the low angle of the net. Gill trying to elevate. And just could not find a way to tuck it in underneath. Easily the best opportunity that Holy Cross has seen here tonight. Walker, the touch forward to Jones. It's been quiet so far. He's been at the head of the attack. Williams, ball too long, deflects. Magnuson fences it forward. It finds Fed. Now looking to send Magnuson down the wing. Magnuson strong in the initial touch, but Magnuson race to the ball, across, into the six. Sent away by Penzone. Excellent touch there by Magnuson to control that, settle it down, and find a way to send it into the six. The reinforcements just were not there on that cross. We're going long again for Gill. Instead, it pops up. Main got ahead to it first. Gill trying to back his way through down to the turf, and a foul whistle down just outside the 18. We'll say several of the local referees off to our left disagree with the call, but now another prime chance here for Holy Cross to try and strike. Free kick coming just outside the 18. It's Williams coming forward. Dartmouth organizing their wall in front of Chris Dudulu. Walker will stand over the ball as well now. Walker approaches a left-footed strike, going for the corner, and it's wide. Hands to head, chagrinning the opportunity. Tried to tuck it into the corner, but just could not find it. Chris Dudulu taking his time before he'll settle the ball down. Mentioned off the top, the Big Green, 5-3 and three at home last season. The road has not been kind to them. We're just 1-4-3 and three away from Burnham Field. Their last year of the winning record on the road, you've got to go all the way back to 2017, their last Ivy League championship. They went 5-3-1 and one that year in 2017, have been just 7-24-4 and four on the road since. So Burnham Field has been where the Big Green have seen the majority of their success in recent memory. And they've... Seen some success here early on, at least in the beginning stages of this game here against Holy Cross. Two goals on the board already for Dartmouth. Looking forward for Arvahar. Fed, a challenge. And we're going to see another card come out here. This one will go for Christian Fed. As Williams went down to the turf. Second yellow of the evening issued here for the Big Green. The other one to Collins. Williams back up to his feet. Our referee, Matthew Mercier. Looking to settle the action down some. Free kick coming. Marcus Nenesinkum instead will yield and leave it back. Sent back into play here by Connor Bagdon. This is Frazier, the first year, carrying in. Arbahar challenge from the backside. Now Walker looking for support. Has it in the form of Penn Zone. Crusaders have to work it back. Arbahar challenged. Leak back here to Bagdon. Now Bagdon with a long ball ahead. 
50-50 ball, foul to be whistled down against Klein. Free kick coming for the big green as we tick inside. Five minutes to go here in half number one. Oscar Magnus in the game's ninth minute, and then Ben Jenkins in the 34th. He's taking Dartmouth as 2-0 lead. Chris Dudulu leaves it out. He is in no rush. Headed forward. Chased down here by Finn Callahan. Callahan looking for options. Now facing pressure. Callahan to the outside. Callahan chipping in. Finds its way to the six. Headed back out to the 18. It was Penzone with the initial head that helped to clear it. Now Walker punches it forward. Jones double teamed and is dispossessed. Jones continuing to pursue. Walker comes up in pursuit, but it finds its way to Kiesling. And he'll send it back here to Chris Dudulu to settle. Sebastian Mignon. 90 minutes played for Mignon in the opener. 82 minutes played against Cal. This ball long, too long across the field that time, looking for Callahan. Callahan, the junior of Norwalk, Connecticut. Here it comes to Gill. Good tackle by Magnuson coming in to take possession back for the big green, but then a ball sent into space. Another challenge over in front of the substitution area. The ball stays in. Kiesling working here against Walker. Back to midfield. Clear foul. Whistled down. Free kick to come now for the big green as they look to try and settle things in. As the clock bleeds its way down towards three minutes to go here in half number one. Long ahead by Kiesling into the 18. Fair catch made just inside the six yard line. Not quite football season here in New Hampshire's Upper Valley yet. Actually a week from today, the football team will be getting its 2023 season underway on the road against the University of New Hampshire. Wildcats out today, we're taking on an FBS opponent in Central Michigan. Lost on a last second field goal, 45 to 42. Dylan Lauby had an all everything day for the Wildcats of UNH. But we won't focus on that football at the moment. We'll focus on the football we have in front of us right now in Dartmouth with a 2-0 lead here in half number one. Crusaders of Holy Cross, actually, as I go backwards and go back on my word, they were in action down at Boston College today. As Jenkins challenged going forward, foul whistled down against Jenkins. Crusaders working it back. Or they try and work it forward inside the final 90 seconds here. It was also a heartbreak for the Crusaders against their FBS opponent today. Just a three-point loss against the Eagles down in Chestnut Hill. Final of that game was 31-28. It's been worked back here to Williams. Nana Sinkum looking for Klein. Klein will take the pass in. Klein approaching the end line. The cross, skipping, loose at the six and struck and wide. And a foul whistle down there. Mignon not happy. Gives Walker a little bit of a chuck as he walks away. And we're going to have a card coming out here. Evan Walker will be issued a yellow. First yellow card coming here to Holy Cross. Twelfth yellow card of the season here for the Crusaders. Their 11 was the third most among Patriot League teams coming into today. Clock had been running. Now frozen at just over 37 seconds remaining.
Chris Dudulu waiting to send it back into play. Climb with the header. Now Walker up in challenges. Callahan tries to send it back, but it's broken up by Jones. Walker climbing over the back there. Stop to be put up on the clock. Walker with an aggressive challenge that time against Fed. Free kick opportunity coming here for the Big Green. Cameron Brain, number 21 you see there, the first year player. In the game for the first time here for the Big Green as well. Checking on just a little while ago. Magnuson, a long loft into the six, looking for a head. Challenged, ball loose momentarily, but Stefani able to corral it. Arvahar challenging there, Stefani with a bit of a chuck. The chippiness starting to pick up here in half number one as the clock will strike all zeros. First 45 minutes at home this season for the Big Green. It's a good 45 for them. They strike twice. Oscar Magnuson in the ninth minute, Ben Jenkins in the 34th. And they stake Dartmouth to a 2 nothing lead at the end of 45 minutes of play. We'll step aside here from Burnham Field, take a timeout, come back and talk a little bit more about this one and take a look at what else is happening in Big Green athletics as well. 2 nothing. Dartmouth in front here in Hanover. One and two. Two and four. Half of black Americans don't have enough savings to retire. So let's retire inequality. Let's step forward together and let's rise together because dignity, security, retirement is for all. Make your debit card green. Big green. Select from 16 options by visiting any Ledyard Bank location or call 888-746-4562. Ledyard's online and mobile banking includes free personal mobile check deposit so you can show all your Dartmouth pride on your home turf. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Growing your business isn't just one thing, it's a million little things. Should you lease, rent, or own? How fast can you get that part? Does it fit the budget? That's what your local captain is here for. With expert advice, flexible financing, and industry-leading equipment, you can get the job done day after day. For a limited time at Milton Cat, get 0% for 60 months on select new Cat Compact equipment. As a trusted choice firm, the Richards Group has been committed to local communities for decades. We take the time to get to know our clients, their needs, and budget. We're independent, so we work for you, not an insurance company. We use our expertise to find our clients the best home, auto, and business coverage at the most competitive price. Our team provides consulting services for employee benefits, retirement plans, human resources, and leadership development. The Richards Group. Prepare for tomorrow by contacting us today. Two nothing here at halftime at Burnham Field, as you see right there, the big green of Dartmouth in front of the Crusaders of the College of the Holy Cross. Oscar Magnuson in the game's ninth minute. Ben Jenkins in the 34th, assisted by Tom Collins, and that has Dartmouth in front right now, two to nothing. Taking a look at the highlights, this is Magnuson, a beautiful carry off the turnover. The patience coming inside, slides it in past Stefani for strike number one for the big green. That made it one nothing in the game's ninth minute. And then it was Collins, a beautiful send forward. Patience with the balls. You see the celebration there for Magnuson, his first strike here in 2023. Collins working it through, takes the challenge. 
Jenkins receiving it, splits the double team and a beautiful tuck into the corner for his first strike here in 2023 after tallying once a season ago. An exuberant Selly to the corner that time, putting Dartmouth in front by a score of two to nothing. Mentioned this is the home opener here for the Big Green. They're on the road next, and we take a look at some of the numbers here in half number one. Two nothing the score. Shots on goal, 6-2 in favor of the Big Green. Fouls starting to tip away from Holy Cross, 8-4. We saw two, three cards, excuse me, issued in half number one. Two going to Dartmouth, one going to the Crusaders. Four corners for the Big Green. Two of those coming in short order early on in the contest. Possession nearly even here through half number one between Dartmouth and Holy Cross. Mentioned the home opener here for the Big Green against Holy Cross. They're on the road next against UMass before home contests against Stonehill and Merrimack here at home before they open up their Ivy League slate on the road. And for the Crusaders of Holy Cross, you see their slate that lies ahead for them as well. On the road against Rhode Island next, and then they go home for their conference opener against American University on September the 16th before a non-conference contest excuse me, against UMass, also at home down in Worcester. If you're going to be coming up to catch any of the Big Green's upcoming games for a unique place to stay that is close to campus, you can check out the Norwich Inns. In 1797, the Inn has been known for vintage charm while providing the modern conveniences expected by today's traveler, and their 22-room addition is a fitting complement to the historic main inn. You can also enjoy informal dining and handcrafted ales brewed on site at their Jasper Murdoch's Ale House restaurant. The Norwich Inn is conveniently located on Main Street in Norwich, Vermont, just one and a half miles away from Dartmouth College and has plenty of free parking. You can check them out at norwichinn.com. 2 nothing. Big Green in front here at the half. We'll take a timeout and come back with more from Hanover in just a bit. These Bulldogs are the top dogs. NCAA Women's Rugby Championship in the Big Green of Dartmouth. That will do it. The Brown Bears and the Lions fall off. And Cornell will play a championship Monday. Half. One and two. Two and four. Half of black Americans don't have enough savings to retire. So let's retire inequality. Let's step forward together and let's rise together because dignity, security, retirement is for all. Make your debit card green. Big green. Select from 16 options by visiting any Ledyard Bank location or call 888-746-4562. Ledyard's online and mobile banking includes free personal mobile check deposit so you can show all your Dartmouth pride on your home turf. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Growing your business isn't just one thing, it's a million little things. Should you lease, rent, or own? How fast can you get that part? Does it fit the budget? That's what your local capital is here for. With expert advice, flexible financing, and industry-leading equipment, you can get the job done day after day. For a limited time at Milton Cat, get 0% for 60 months on select new Cat Compact equipment. As a trusted choice firm, the Richards Group has been committed to local communities for decades. We take the time to get to know our clients, their needs, and budget. We're independent, so we work for you, not an insurance company. We use our expertise to find our clients the best home, auto, and business coverage at the most competitive price. Our team provides consulting services for employee benefits, retirement plans, human resources, and leadership development. The Richards Group. Prepare for tomorrow by contacting us today. 2-0 the score here at the half. The Big Green on top of the Crusaders of the College of the Holy Cross. Oscar Magnuson in the game's ninth minute. Ben Jenkins as assisted by Tom Collins in the game's 34th. Staking Dartmouth to this 2-0 lead. 
Soccer, obviously not the only sport taking place here in the Upper Valley. Fall sports are in full swing here on Dartmouth's campus, including field hockey. They played yesterday against Quinnipiac, a tough 2-1 loss for the Big Green. They're back in action, looking to rebound tomorrow against the Warriors of Merrimack College. That's a 12 o'clock start. You can catch the game right here on ESPN+. Plus. Before the season got started, the Big Green field hockey team took a trip over to Barcelona, Spain. Florentine Terra was mic'd up during the course of that trip. Here's a look and a listen from what happened over across the sea. Guys, I'm my cub. Softball <laughs> thing is on fire. You got a bobo? Go, 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 go. Okay, you know British you know girl. You know, I feel like she's in Europe. She's like in her zone, you know? <laughs> We're literally in her time zone. Way to work, guys. Hey, hold on. I saw you trying to get that backhand shot. You know how you when you score a hat trick, you get the ball? Really? Wait, is that not a thing? Okay, well, I, I think want it's a thing. Ball. Yeah, you should go get one. Mm -hmm. Can we take some Spanish food back home as well? <laughs> Please? Cage, that's such an American word. I used to say goal, and now I say cage, and so Mark gets mad at me. He's like, you're losing your essence. And I'm like, I'm sorry. Some water, Tanner? Water, guys? Okay, Meg. Okay, Meg, again, that's the corner. So true. So true. You have to be a so team true. player. Oh my and god. And the team does well, not. For that one. I don't know who's going to do the best player of the match interview because everyone was just so good. Nice man! Okay, hello. Dude, you scored twice! Oh, yeah. Good job, little dance. Oh my god, please don't hit me. I've been hit enough already. We're doing a little train action here, Tona. Buen partido. Buen partido. Buen partido. Buen partido. One in two, two in four. Half of black Americans don't have enough savings to retire. So let's retire inequality. Let's step forward together and let's rise together because dignity, security, retirement is for all. Make your debit card green, big green. Select from 16 options by visiting any Ledyard Bank location or call 888-746-4562. Ledyard's online and mobile banking includes free personal mobile check deposit so you can show all your Dartmouth pride on your home turf. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Growing your business isn't just one thing, it's a million little things. Should you lease, rent, or own? How fast can you get that part? Does it fit the budget? That's what your local cap dealer is here for. With expert advice, flexible financing, and industry-leading equipment, you can get the job done day after day. For a limited time at Milton Cat, get 0% for 60 months on select new Cat Compact equipment. As a trusted choice firm, the Richards Group has been committed to local communities for decades. We take the time to get to know our clients, their needs, and budgets. We're independent, so we work for you, not an insurance company. We use our expertise to find our clients the best home, auto, and business coverage at the most competitive price. Our team provides consulting services for employee benefits, retirement plans, human resources, and leadership development. The Richards Group. Prepare for tomorrow by contacting us today. Gorgeous evening here in Hanover, 2-0. The big green in front of the Crusaders of the College of the Holy Cross in this men's 
soccer matchup here this evening. My name is Matt Corsetti. Thanks for coming to hang out with us here today for this presentation of the Ivy League on ESPN. The Ivy League preseason poll, Penn picked to repeat as champs here in the Ancient Eight, receiving nine first place votes. Cornell receiving six just behind them in terms of points, and then Harvard with the other first place vote, picked to finish third overall. You see the big green right there, picked to finish sixth in the preseason poll this year. It's a race for the top four. The top four teams will advance to the Ivy League men's soccer tournament. New to the Ivy this year, men's and women's soccer, also in field hockey as well. The top four teams will have a chance to compete for the conference's automatic berth into the NCAA College Cup. So a race for the top four this year. Penn picked up an impressive win their last time out. They were in action yesterday against Penn State, a 3-0 win for the Quakers over the Nittany Lions. Yale picked up a win yesterday over UConn, 2-1. Huskies have been pretty stout defensively this year, but Yale able to find the back of the net twice. Princeton and Loyola had their game yesterday canceled due to some inclement weather. Other scores to pass along from games taking place today. Cornell was out in Buffalo taking on Canisius. They knock off the Golden Griffins by a score of 4-2. Sacred Heart with a 1-0 decision over Columbia. Lions were looking for the win, as you see the preseason poll there again. And down in uh, Harvard, welcome in Seton Hall today, down in Cambridge. That was supposed to be a 5 o'clock start to that game, but it got delayed due to lightning being in the area. So they're just finishing up half number one down there in Cambridge. Seton Hall, a nationally ranked team, Pirates with a 1-0 lead over the Crimson in that contest. A busy day down on Harvard's campus as well. The Merrimack-Lehigh football game that was supposed to take place in the Merrimack Valley in North Andover, Massachusetts, had to get moved down to Harvard Stadium. There's some bad storms in the Merrimack Valley yesterday. It knocked out power to Merrimack's campus in the surrounding area. There was still no power this afternoon when that game was scheduled to be played, so they packed up the teams and brought them all the way down to Cambridge to play at Harvard Stadium. That was originally supposed to be a 4 o'clock start, and then that was delayed by the lightning in the area. That game finally, I think, kicked off just after 6 p.m., so weather's been wreaking havoc certain areas thankfully here today we're knocking on wood as we say this we're getting this game in so far cleanly tonight there are athletic events scheduled here at dartmouth tomorrow there's field hockey at 12 o'clock as the big green will welcome in the warriors of merrimack college and then women's soccer tomorrow scheduled for a 3 p.m start against the blue devils of central connecticut state university and we say scheduled because again we're looking at potentially a lot of heavy driving rain here in the upper valley tomorrow along with some lightning so hopefully we'll be able to get those games in. You can catch both those games on ESPN+. Plus If you live locally in New England, the women's soccer game will also be on Nesson Plus tomorrow. Reversing course here in half number two. Holy Cross in the road purple. Dartmouth in the home whites. Crusaders gliding left to right across your screen as they try and attack and find the back of the net against Costi Christodoulou in half number two. Trailing 2 nothing. The Crusaders now, this is game number five of the season, still have yet to score a goal in the first half of any of their contests this year. And their two losses, they gave up three goals in half number one. Those against UConn and Bryant, yielding two goals here to the big green in the opening half tonight. Sent ahead, looking for Jones, tries to undercut Maine. Ball was too high. Settles back, and Collins will leave it on the far side for Kiesling. Sent back, Chris Dudulu, hard touch to Maine, nearly loses his footing, does and somehow able clears towards midfield. Taken away there by Williams. Williams, calmly back with it. And a sinkum, turns it over, push forward. Arvahar, leaving. Miras to the outside. Miras, a heel flick to Collins, gets a rise from the crowd. Cameron Brain, the first year out of London, England. Third appearance in as many games, leaves it back here for Orit Maine. Seems as though a lot of the substitutes that entered towards the back end of half number one are on the field here to start things off in half number two. We do see Blake back on the field here for the big green. Trenton Blake, the first year, who subbed out in half number one. Arvahar, who came on as a substitute in half number one, starts things out here in half number two. Row coming here. Forward to take it will be Gavin Penzone. Penzone entered as a sub in half number one. His throw. Taken away by the big green. Parried towards midfield and headed forward there by Bagden. Back it finds Penzone. Collins will challenge. 
Nanasinkum. Penn zone. Back play to Williams now. The try captain to the outside. Crusaders looking to set up an attack. Man over there. Ivor Teagle trips over the ball, loses his footing. Sent back into the 18. Chris Tadulu will gather before it goes over the end line. Teagle did not see the pitch in half number one. The junior from Singapore. This is for his first appearance of the season here for the Crusaders. Two games played for him a season ago. Missed the rest with injury. Blake into the box. Blake tries to touch Stefani out aggressively and takes it away. Opportunistic, I think would be a good way to describe Dartmouth here this evening. Well hustled that time. Miras comes back. Able to challenge and not allow the reversal of field that McGonagall was looking for. Vasilis Miras got the start here tonight. The first year player in of Athens, Greece. His third start in as many games for this big green team. This one's sent wide. It comes to Magnuson. He wants the throw to come in quickly. Doesn't have the support ahead, so he'll just yield. Now Dartmouth will get organized. Mentioned in the first half, the all-time series, 6-0-4 in favor of the Big Green. Last season in Worcester, a 0-0 tie. That was their first meeting since 2017. A long chip into the box, back edge of the six. Blake, a touch. Miras tries to strike. Another strike coming in this one. Well high and over the bar, coming off the foot of Brain. Eighth shot of the night for the Big Green. Six of those have landed on net. Two of those have found their way to the back of the net. Dartmouth came in averaging only six and a half shots per game. So they've exceeded that with plenty of time to go in this one. But now the Crusaders looking to counter. Teagle striking to the top of the 18. Settled and challenged. A man run through. Now a foul to be whistled down. Ostrowski was looking for the foul there after the collision. None came. Then Jones with the challenge, knocking Maine to the turf. As we mentioned, a well-attended game here tonight. Student section down off to our left is pretty well filled. Stands in front of us and to our right. And why not a gorgeous evening for it? Chris Tadulu awaits patiently. A long loft across midfield. This one let through. Arbahar whistled down for the foul. He's politicking that he was hit him from behind. To no avail. And now a chance here for the Crusaders to try and counter. Nanasinkum up the wing looking for Jones. Challenge on the backside that time. Magnon that time with the challenge. Foul whistled down against the Crusaders. Free kick to come here for the Big Green. We've mentioned for Dartmouth how playing at home has been their bread and butter over the last few years where they've had the most success. Consequently for Holy Cross, the road has been a struggle. They were just 1-7-2 and two on the road last year and 3-15-4 and four over the last three seasons with one road win in each year. So away from Worcester has not been kind so far. Miras challenging on the back end. Bagden just has to clear it over to the sideline. Miras. He'll take the return. Looking for options. Leaves it back now for Kate Kiesling. The senior. A left-footed parry. Into the box. Arvahar looking for the head. Didn't have position. Headed back to Arvahar. A challenge. Batted down. Collins through. Magnuson striking. Rebound loose. Turned and cleared off the line. A race to the sideline. And a throw to be won here for the Crusaders. 
Full credit to McGonigal for not giving up on the play. Able to turn the ball off of a Dartmouth boot. And at least take some momentum or some steam out of the sails for the moment here. Long run up the line that time. A generous give. Jones and a battle with Maine. Off of Maine's foot now. Throw again to come here from Jeb Sneed. The first yard of Midland, Michigan. Possession will come back now to the big green. Finds Maine in the back. Didn't see the field against Cal after starting against St. Mary's. But back on the pitch here tonight and has not come off as of yet. Back it comes to Stefani. Ardvahar challenging. Stefani nearly trips over his own boot. Headed forward by McGonigal. Maine back to midfield. Collins, the touch. Magnon forward. Magnuson with the head, but no one home. Five saves so far for Stefani in net. One save for his counterpart, Costi Christodoulou. Long throw, looking for Arvahar. Trying to work his way through and challenges. Frazier touched it back. Now finding a challenge. Arvahar continues on with it off of his boots last. Paul ticking to the assistant referee on the side for a call, but none coming. Penn zone. Headed back into play. Blake was waiting for it. Instead, it finds its way to Collins. Leave it back now for Maine with Jones challenging. Magnon. Ellis trying to send it up the wing. We'll send it off the backside of a Crusader. That's Teagle. Comes in now to Brain. Eventually back now to Maine. Magnon. Beautiful touch to the outside, but a bit too strong. Settles down here to Williams. Touch comes across. Kiesling calmly back to Christodoulou. Facing some pressure. A long boot into space. Blake will let it ride. Over the line it will go. Sneed back in with it quickly. Jake Williams, one of the tri captains of this team, comes across with it. Penzone. The touch into space, but no one there. Collins carrying to the outside. Collins able to maintain possession after a pair of challenges. Ellis will loft it across. Maine to Brain. Kiesling. Ascend ahead. Arvahar trying to split a pair of defenders. Well read that time by Bagdon to send it away. Again sent into space. It's Dartmouth back in possession. Brain leaking through. Blake. Along the end line, chipping in, loose in the six. Ball struck, and it's in! But the flag was up. The offside flag was up. The goal will come off the board. I thought I saw the flag up on the far side. Dartmouth is celebrating as though they have a goal. We'll take a look at the replay to see the finish, but I thought I saw the flag wave. Challenge coming in. It looks like Arvahar got the last touch before it went across the end line. If that's for Arvahar, the first year's ever first collegiate goal. The assistant on the far side had the flag in the air, whether or not they deemed he was behind the ball, the ball being in deep, and it's a third goal on the board. It comes here in the 56th minute. Dartmouth will take it. Now a 3-0 advantage. 
Now Miras challenged. Sent out in a deep throw coming for the big green. Off of a Dartmouth boot last. That one off of Blake. Goal has been credited so far to Arvahar. Miras and Blake are being credited with the assists right now. Throw coming in here from Kiesling. Miras reversing field. Headed back, Jones will push her. Magnon calmly here to Maine. The big green now, the three nothing lead. Crusaders taking the throw too far forward, so McGonagall will have to come back. Comes in now to Williams, making his four straight start of the season here for Holy Cross. Wide it comes to Penzone, returning to Williams. Williams down to the turf. Arvahar whistled for the foul. Free kick opportunity coming here for the Crusaders who find themselves on the wrong side of a 3-0 score at the moment. There's a shot of Arvahar. First ever collegiate goal for the first year player out of Stockholm, Sweden. Three goals from three goal scorers here tonight for the Big Green. An encouraging sign. A team that had their offense spread out last year. Free kick though coming at the moment. For Holy Cross, this is Williams. Motion into the box. The swing of the left. Bending towards the back corner and well clear. Dartmouth new offense was something they'd be searching for coming into this season. They returned no one from last year's squad that scored multiple goals. Only two to do that last year were David Alino and Alex Van Skalquick. Alino with six tallies on the 2022 campaign. Van Skalquick with three. The other 11 goals were scored by 11 individual players last year. But three goals on the board here for the Big Green. Miras heads it into the box. Stefani out with it quickly. Jeb Sneed, two times all-conference and all-district in high school out of Midland, Michigan. Is it Ford for Williams? Now Jones running in, but too far. Jones has been trying to stretch the seam in the middle of the field all night, but so far none of the passes have connected. Push forward. Now Jones, a chance, chipping towards net, and it finds its way in. Crusaders needed a goal, and they get on the board. Evan Jones with the tally here makes it 3-1. Chris Dudulo came out to challenge Jones with just enough English on it to work it over the keeper and into the back of the net. First strike here in 2023 for the junior out of West Hartford, Connecticut. Five goals a season ago for Evan Jones. Eight goals back when he was the Patriot League Rookie of the Year in 2021 in the spring season. The goal will come in the 60th minute. And it gets the Crusaders on the board. Foul there. Blake is down. And some words afterwards between Blake and Sneed. Sneed was ushered away by his own teammate. Blake down on the turf. He works his way back up.
Foul was initially whistled down against Blake. But back into play. First third of play gone here in half number two. Each side has struck once here in the second half. Douglas Arvahar in the game's 56th minute, and then Evan Jones in the 60th. Kiesling challenging, was looking for a foul. Now it will come. It was a bandage play on for the moment. As you might imagine, as the game gets late, some of the shenanigans start to increase between both of these teams. Matthew Mercier, our referee, talking to Jack Ostrovsky. Everyone down around that cluster right now, he and Tom Collins. Everyone's got a smile on their face for the moment. Always expect a little gamesmanship as the game continues on. Mignon leaving forward. Williams with the initial header. McGonagall to take it in. McGonagall works through a challenge from Blake. Up the line. Jones lets it through. Ricochets. Jones in control. Cleared away. Collins. Challenge from the backside. McGonagall went to run through. Position was well established, so the foul whistled down. Chris Tadulu forward to take the free kick. Jones now talking to the referee assistant, imploring them to move the pace at which Dartmouth is moving with. Again, some of the games in ship you see. Arvahar with the nudge from behind. And Williams goes down to the turf. Holy Cross quick on the restart. This is Teagle. Teagle being challenged. Teagle dispossessed. But a throw to come here for Holy Cross. And with it quickly, the Crusaders are. Time is not on their side. And they need to do something they've not done all season, score more than one goal in a contest. One goal in their opener against Manhattan. That was a 1-1 tie. One goal in their win against Sacred Heart on September the 1st. A 1-0 win. Collins, good challenge, coming back. McGonagall got in his way to slow down his advance. This one's sent out. Now Collins whistled down for the foul. Free kick coming. Williams will back up. Prepare to send it. Williams instead will send it back. Frazier, the first year. Bagden. Turns to Gill. We said his name a lot towards the end of half number one. He's not been able to work himself free here in half number two. Now a challenge coming through. Advantage. Play on. Now the foul to be whistled down. A free kick coming from just outside the 18. Critical free kick coming up here for the Crusaders. Chance here to try and pull themselves to within one. Trio of players around the ball. Instead, it'll be left back eventually to Williams. Chipped in, flicking, header towards the back post. Saved off the line there by Frazier. Well read, though. And losing his footing, trying to send it away was Ellis. Bit of a miscommunicate between McGonagall and Sneed on the throw. Into the edge of the 18. Fenced ahead. Comes to the boot here. Arvahar. Arvahar. Challenged by Williams. Arvahar. Sending it wide now. This is Wilson. Sent out by Penzone. Substitutions on coming right now. The big green. We'll see Jenkins re-enter the fray. Grabbing a seat will be Vasilis Meras, the first year out of Athens, Greece. A couple of strong efforts by him here tonight. Arvahar challenged. 
Dispossessed, it comes to Gill. Now Gill has it taken away. Well played by Ellis. Arvahar on the outside. Leaves it back. A loft for the back post. A strike towards net, bounding back towards the six. Still loose inside the 18. Finally, Teagle punts it back towards midfield. Headed down, and the big green will control. Mignon leaving it wide. Collins directing traffic. Finds its way to Arvahar, trying to split a pair of defenders. Arvahar trying to work his way through. But a corner coming for the big green. Williams tried to sell the officials on it being a goal kick, but it wasn't being bought. First corner for Dartmouth coming here in half number two after racking up four in half number one. Cameron Brain, the first year out of London, England. Spent time with the Arsenal, Arsenal FC Academy over there, three years to be precise. He'll approach with the left and look to bend this kick in. Brain on the approach. High lofting ball, looking for a head, Stefani. Well tracked. Ball looked like it was ticketed to find Arvahar, but Stefani stepped in front at the last moment. Crusaders have to try and find a way to break out here. Trailing by two, just over 20 minutes gone here in half number two. They have struck Evan Jones, his first of the season. Coming in the game 60th minute. That brought his team back to within two. After just four minutes before, they found themselves down by three. Magnon challenging. McGonigal back to it. Headed out of harm's way for the moment. A touch picked off by Brain. First year to first year as Brain finds Blake. Down the line, it goes to Jenkins. The junior trouble with the touch. Control back by Bagdon. And Stefani. Lofted wide for Teagle. Teagle double teamed. Ball finds its way eventually now to Gill. Gill dispossessed. Arvahar sends it back out. Collins with space. Collins chipping, looking just over the boot of Jenkins. Ball came in tight to Jenkins. Couldn't quite get to it cleanly. Substitution for Holy Cross. We'll see the return of Jonathan Klein. Matt McGonigal will get a breather here with just over 22 minutes remaining here in half number two. Gill bounds over his boot. Collins will take his time with it. Player slipping down on the pitch here tonight. As this is worked on the outside by Wilson. Challenged and will gain a throw for the big green. It's been very hot, very humid, unseasonably so here in New Hampshire's Upper Valley. And temperature has definitely dropped drastically from where it was earlier today. That'll sometimes cause condensation to gather up out on the natural grass surface. And footing can become a bit tricky as the night progresses and moves on. This is Collins reversing field. Kiesling. The touch to himself, challenged, and it's taken away there by Teagle. Teagle pushing the issue. Middle of the field, well challenged, and foul whistle down against Collins. Things starting to heat up down there on the pitch a little bit. Blake tried to carry the ball away. Sneed came in from the backside. That brought a small gathering of the clans for a moment. Matthew Mercier trying to keep a lid on it here. We'll chalk that up to some good competitive spirit between these two teams here in the early going. Williams again on the free kick. Three men on the line of the far side of the 18. The man sneaking in back door instead. Williams will leave it short. Returns to Williams now. Looking for an angle. Trying to send to the corner. Well read by Blake. Blake. Jenkins, the touch, trying to go back to the outside. Was looking there for Wilson. 
Pass was behind, and Wilson will watch it roll out. Controlled here by Bagdon. And over now it finds Sneed. Student section, as you might imagine, getting on Sneed anytime he has a touch to the ball. The first year, though, equating himself well here tonight. Penzone, another first year, will leave it back. Finds its way here to Bagdon. Crusaders need to strike twice to get the game level. But they're not forcing the issue too much. Right as we say that, the long pass diagonal up the seam does not connect. And Dartmouth will take the throw right in front of the Crusader bench. Ellis will send it in deep. Flicked ahead. Arvahar looking for Wilson, the return header. Arvahar challenged on the outside, wins the corner. Strong play for Arvahar, winning the corner here for his team. Finn Callahan to enter the game here for the Big Green. See Evan Walker re-enter here for Holy Cross as well. And Christian Fed will also come back onto the pitch here for Dartmouth. That'll be Fed going over to the corner immediately to take and swing this in. Arvahar also checking out of the contest. Fed settles the ball in the corner. In bending kick towards the six. Headed out of harm's way there by Frazier. Ellis first to it. Magnon ahead. Returns to Fed. Sending through the 18. Leaks to the six. Stefani able to come through. Callahan, the man that was hunting the ball. Back it comes to the Crusader keeper. Five saves on the evening for Stefani. His season high thus far. Again, the season still very young, but three saves in each of his appearances against UConn and Manhattan. Had two saves in the shutout against Sacred Heart. Bagdon looking for options. None there. Worked it forward to Sneed and back to Bagdon. And again, they'll retreat to the keeper. Stefani sent wide. Frazier, the first year. He's it back. Bagdon looks to stretch the field. Looking for Teagle. It goes off of Teagle last, and a throw coming here for the Big Green. Well played by Kiesling on the back end that time. Cade Kiesling, the senior out of Woodbury, Minnesota. He's played every minute here tonight, played every minute in the first two games for the Big Green here in 2023. Ball finds its way to Frazier. Three times an all-region player in high school, Frazier was, from Charlotte, North Carolina. Able to leak it through. This is Walker to the outside. Teagle. Brings it back to the 18, Walker again. A foul whistle down on the outside. Challenge was over there. Like Alexi Unu was the man that was whistled down for the foul the first year out of Paris, France. So the foul on Unu. This is Williams, 
preparing to strike on the free kick from outside the 18. Bending towards the corner, looking for a head. Collins clears it out of the box. Blake with the touch. And a lot of grass in front of him. Blake pushing the issue. The carry to the middle of the field. Forward it comes. Fed working with Callahan. Fed feeding Callahan. Sneed with a challenge. And a corner kick coming. A lot of contact to be certain on that challenge, but Callahan able to win his team the corner. Callahan in no rush to get the ball over there to the corner flag as we're approaching the final third of play here. In half number two, Oscar Magnuson scoring the game's ninth minute, made it 1-0 Dartmouth. Ben Jenkins made it 2-0 in the 34th. As we're going to have a conversation in the box, things are getting a little bit testy as the game continues to trickle down. 3-0 in the second half. Douglas Arvahar, the first of his collegiate career, made it 3-0. Now Callahan to approach, swinging towards the top of the six. Wilson taken out as that ball leaked all the way through. A goal kick to come. Substitution coming out on the far side for the Big Green. Oscar Magnuson to check in now for Dartmouth. Magnuson got the party started, as we said, in the game's ninth minute. Jenkins in the 34th, and then Arvahar in the 56th before Jones able to get the Crusaders on the board in the game's 60th minute. And that's how we're at 3-1. Now time becoming of the essence here for the Crusaders of the College of the Holy Cross. Needing two to equalize as we're approaching 14 minutes to play here in Hanover. Sent long. Ellis heads it down. Here's Gill. Ellis just happy to boot it into the Crusader bench and slow the action down for the moment. Substitution coming on for Holy Cross. McGonagall to re-enter. So McGonagall has re-entered. The ball comes wide to Sneed. Jenkins with the touch, trying to work around Sneed. Sneed wins the one-on-one -on -one battle. Chipped ahead, but it comes right to Magnon. Collins, a touch to the outside. Magnuson, forward for Jenkins. Approaching the 18. Jenkins, a carry. Jenkins, a left-footed strike. What a save made by Stefani. Ball's still loose, and Stefani will smother it. Jenkins, hands to the head, lamenting the opportunity. A beautiful carry to the outside, but Stefani flashed out the leg and was able to make the stop. A critical save here for the Crusaders. His sixth stop of the evening. And keeps it just a two-goal deficit inside 13 minutes remaining. Looking for Jones. Headed away there by Ellis. Collins, the touch to Fed to Magnuson. Magnuson patient. Jenkins tries to control, able to save it before it goes over the sideline. Back it comes to Magnuson. Forward it comes to Jenkins as they overlap. Jenkins trying to carry to the middle. Advantage play on, they're going to say there was the contact with the ball first. And Holy Cross will continue forward with it. This is Jones to the outside looking for McGonagall. Jenkins back up and moving. Jogging his way towards midfield. Play pause for the moment as the ball that had been knocked out, rolled back onto the pitch. McGonagall sending back for Sneed. Frazier the first year, will take it in. Trying to work his way past Callahan. Frazier looking for support. Ricochets, Penzone racing to it across the line, but swallowed by Chris Tadulu. You can be sure Chris Dudulu will take every moment of time he can before he has to send this one away. Magnuson will just watch it skitter out.
Dartmouth women's team scheduled to play here at Burnham Field tomorrow with three o'clock start against a non-conference opponent, the Blue Devils of Central Connecticut State University in the Northeast Conference. Due to take on the Big Green here in the Upper Valley, Dartmouth women's team has not lost a game yet on the season. They've won three and tied two. Again, a three o'clock start. You can catch that game right here on ESPN Plus and locally in New England on Nesson Plus. Good challenge on the back end. Possession, though, stays here with the Crusaders. Approaching 10 and a half to go here in half number two. Holy Cross is going to have to start taking some chances, sending the ball forward. Wilson will track it down. Just turn and loft it back across midfield. Williams holding wide for Penzone. Penzone. Into the 18 harmlessly. Chris Dadulu will fence it down to bleed some extra time down. And now scoop it up with Jones in pursuit. Kiesling. Magnon. Content just to work the ball up calmly here with time. Finds the legs of Bagdon. Touch towards midfield, but Magnuson takes it away. Magnuson in space, feeding to Callahan. Challenge comes in from behind. The official says contact with the ball. No foul on the play. And now Holy Cross trying to counter. Ball goes over the sideline and out. Coach Oshani not pleased on the sideline right now. Matt Mercier going over and offering his explanation to the Dartmouth coaching staff. Substitutions coming on for the Big Green. Miras readying to check back in here for Dartmouth. They'll come in to spell Jenkins. Wilson headed it forward. Crusaders. Teagle. Now flicked ahead by Walker. Who knew? Sends it forward. Wilson ahead to the outside. Penzone was first to it. Crusaders trying to counter. A race to the ball on the outside. A chip into the box. Krista Dulu will cover it up. Crusaders were looking for a foul inside the box as Jones went tumbling to the turf, but no call coming. Rolled out to Sebastian Magnon. Long with the left foot. Miras giving chase. Bagdon sending back towards his keeper, Stefani. Collins sell settles it on this side of midfield. Collins with some space. Contemplated the strike, but instead will send it side wide to Wilson. Wilson off the backside of Penzone. Another corner coming here for the Big Green. Fourth corner of the half coming here for Dartmouth. And Christian fed with the slow jog over as the clock continues to wind its way down. One man inside the six, that's Miras. Ellis midway between the 18 and the six as Fed approaches with the left. Bent in, short side of the six, header towards the net just wide. Connected with Ellis and Ellis's flicking header just came wide on this side of the post. Brian Salvino, the first year checking of the game for the first time here tonight for Holy Cross. He'll be subbing Evan Walker. Ball will find its way to Stefani. Seven saves in net for him tonight, easily his season high. Comes to Sneed. 
Magnuson with the token challenge, forces the back pass. Frazier to Teagle. Teagle reversing field. Sneed coming forward on the attack, draws the attention of Magnuson. Sneed, a good touch. Sneed touches to the 18. Who knew? Clears off the line. Good turn by Bagdon to save possession. Touch is a bit strong, but it comes loose to McGonagall and back to Sneed. Approaching six minutes remaining here from Burnham Field. Big Green with a 3-1 lead, searching out their first win here in 2023 in their home opener. Strong touch to the outside. Teagle will give chase, saves it from going over the line. McGonagall was waiting the return that time from Sneed. McGonagall challenging. He goes off McGonagall and he throws off Magnuson. Now he and Magnuson coming in. Mercier steps in. Card will be coming out. McGonagall trying to plead his case. And Collins over there. The referee Mercier telling him he'll deal with it. The yellow comes out now for McGonagall. Threw the ball back at Magnuson, tried to play it off as though it was incidental. Second card of the night issued to Holy Cross. Two yellows aside now for each of these teams. Kiesling with a run, a throw down the line. Miras had it momentarily. Lofted ahead. Chris Dulu out to challenge. Boots it back to midfield. Collins and McGonagall. McGonagall winning the race. Collins with a challenge. McGonagall back up quickly. They use it here for Sneed. The touch comes back to McGonagall. McGonagall trying to work his way down the line against Collins. Now a carry towards the end. Kiesling will send it out. Inside the final five remaining here from Burnham Field. Salvino takes the return. Salvino looking for an angle. Salvino lofting back post. Goes all the way to the far side where Penzone will gather. Penzone back towards the end line. Penzone whistled for the foul. Now a stop will be put on the clock here. Dartmouth taking too long for the official Mercier's liking to put the ball back into play. Salvino trying to help the cause by throwing the ball back on the pitch. Ball attended on the far side, rolled theirs on as well. Put back down by Chris Dulu. Magnuson over his head, one by McGonagall. Ian Miras in a tangle. Finds its way back to McGonagall and works it back here to Frazier. Frazier the first year has been on the pitch for all 86 minutes thus far. Comes back across. We'll find Bagdon who's been on the field the entire night as well. Crusaders having to push forward now. Back to Frazier. Teagle. Williams trying to direct traffic. Bagdon carrying forward with space. The big green trying to pack on the end. Salvino trying to carry through. Teagle. Bagdon now. Down to the turf went Salvino. No call coming. Dartmouth back in possession. Collins with Sneed in hot pursuit. Collins just spins away from the pressure. Outlets back here to Ellis. Back it returns. Collins, the captain. Magnon, it's the big green content to play keep away. With the two goal lead and just over three minutes remaining. Collins sees pressure coming from the backside, works the ball ahead. Has Ellis wide in space in front of his own bench. Ellis approaching to Wilson. Wilson tries to send it forward. It goes off the boots of Penzone. 
And a throw to come here for Dartmouth. Arvahar to check back in here for the big green. And Callahan to check out. Official Matthew Mercier putting a freeze on the clock here at the substitution with 2.46 remaining. Jack Ostrovsky back onto the pitch here. Looks like he's spelling Jake Williams as the night is winding down to a close. Out along the line, throw coming for the Crusaders. Bagdon. Token pressure by Magnuson. Penzone. Crusaders coaches motioning for their players to move up, move up, push the attacking line as forward as they can with just over two minutes remaining. Deagle dropping back here. Ostrovsky looking for McGonagall. It skips in. McGonagall racing, but the offside flag was up. Dartmouth with a free kick coming from their own end. Chris Dudulu tossing it down to the turf. The junior keeper who's made one save here tonight. Back spinning kick across midfield. Ostrovsky to Teagle. Collins. Fans on the header. Magnon just boots it forward. Arvahar. In behind the ball, stays on side. Arvahar, Sneed running through. Arvahar getting back up, now coming over. Card coming over for Arvahar. Ostrovsky came over. Sneed was knocked down to the turf. Arvahar, excuse me, was knocked to the turf. He and Sneed were in a battle. Arvahar got up with something to say. That'll be the third card of the evening here for the Big Green. So card to Arvahar, but a free kick coming here for Dartmouth. Clock frozen just inside 60 seconds remaining. Two-man wall to be set just outside the 18. Magnuson with a gentle tap to Collins. Collins just slips it through along the end line, a race over to it as Arbahar was hunting, but Stefani will gather. Comes down to Fed. Why it goes now to Ellis. Middle of the field, Arvahar challenging. Bagdon wins the header forward here for the Crusaders. Sneed turns it over. Miraz running in. Miraz looking to go into the 18. Miraz trying to strike. And a foul whistle down against the big green. Time continuing to wind and roll. That will likely do it here as the final 15 seconds continue to trickle down. So in their home opener in 2023, the Big Green of Dartmouth will come away with a 3-1 victory and improve to 1-2-0 on the season. And a little bit more of a conversation afterwards. The officials need to get in there. Ostrowski with a challenge at the end. A forearm as the last header went up for. Some chippiness boiling over a bit at the end. But the Big Green will come away here tonight with a 3-1 victory. A good win for the Big Green to open up their home campaign here in the 2023 season. They improved to 1-2-0 and on the year. Holy Cross falling to 1-3-1. and Goal scoring for Dartmouth tonight. Got started by Oscar Magnus.